do not adjust your screens. Grassroots to Greatness today is starting on a black screen. And there is a reason for it, okay? Now, for things that are completely out of my control, well, it isn't really, because I could have said no, but I got offered a job interview, and I ummed and ahed about it because it was something that was already going to be occurring on the channel. But then I thought, fuck okay, it, we can kill two birds with one stone. So... Without further ado, I apologise for those who are looking forward to going on with Lincoln, because I was as well. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the next step. That's absolutely correct, guys. Those of you who are astute in the brain will be fully aware that we are at my beloved crew. Now, I know I was really looking forward to going forward with Lincoln, but... I couldn't turn it down. And it gives me the opportunity to pull two series into one. Um, so you can see here, look, Alan Neil was the gaffer. Uh, for 185 days, he was there. And um, he fucked off, basically, to MK Dons, which is very bizarre because, if I remember rightly, um, that is exactly where Steve Davis sodded off to. It is, yeah, it is. It is. Show me. Show me. Where's it gone? Yeah. MK Dons. Ta-da. So, a crew have almost become a conveyor belt for MK Dons failing managers. So, Alan Neil fucked off there. And crew came to me and they were like, Dear Mr. Howarth, we are very, very impressed with the way you're going about your business. Please come on over to crew uh, for an interview. And I was like, no brainer. Uh, kind of went with my heart instead of my head, which is what I've done in the situation. I could have been at Lincoln a day if crew came knocking, I'd go. You know, it's simple as that. So we're 12 in the table, and um, uh, la, 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 ba, ba, let's have a little look. And the, the squad has been slightly depleted to a degree of several good players have gone. But they've got Kieran Agard on loan, which is pretty bloody good, in my opinion. He's got 10 in 12 in all competitions so far this season for them. So he looks like a decent player. We could perhaps do something with him. Hopefully he'll fit into our system. Um, Marcus Haber, uh, Marcus Haber, Marcus Barnes is a young lad from South... On the fucking thing. Southampton, who's wanted by these boys already. Uh, but yeah, he started his career at Southampton up in the Premier League. So he could be something that could be worth looking at. Um... Josh Lundstrom, he's a very decent young player. Um, I like the look of him. He's got a few goals in the... Um, you know what I mean? Whitby. Whitby? Trans Fuck off. Um, I do not think so, my friends. I do not think so. Uh, Callum Saunders, son of Dean, um, just got into the first team for crew in real life, who, by the way, came for 2 0 out with 3 2 away at Colchester last night to make it 7 on the bounce at Colchester. Crazy. Ryan Colcloth, the shiny light of crew season in real life this season, and a very decent player on FM, uh, could be worth cashing in on soon. We're going to need the money because we only have a very depleted balance of £96,000, which is piss poor. And. Um, we need to really improve on that and really kick it on because we just can't survive on it. I mean, facilities-wise, we have great... Oh, only established... route. Oh, my God. Adequate youth facilities. Four. Level fucking four. What has happened to this team? You... This board is... Oh, the board is corrupt and devilish. Dario Grady, Dean Ashton, Steve Davis, Nick Powell... I love this boy. He's my friend. He's my he's my lo he's awful my lover. Uh, he's not really. That was a blatant lie. But um, I would love to bring him back on loan. But there's no chance it's ever going to happen while we're in League Two. So we can forget that bad boy. Chuck's an EK. What a legend he is in my eyes. The laziest, most you know laid back player in the world, but so brilliant with it. It's crazy. Old Dougie boy, he's down at Lincoln still. We had him at Lincoln with us, so uh, he's down there living the dream still. And um, Matty Toot Toot Tootle, he's up at Shrewsbury, who I believe beat Sheffield United 5-2 at Bramall Lane last night in real life. Crazy season for Sheffield United. Ridiculous. Be all over the place. 
So um, I accidentally played that game. We lost 2-1 to Pompey. I forgot that I did YouTube for a second and kind of got a bit carried away. Uh, so today we're going to go straight in against Oxford. And that's going to be a difficult game in itself because they're at the top end of the table. Uh, but in terms of life in general things aren't going great for crew at the moment and i don't think they're going to start particularly well and uh, let's get saunders on the bunch do we put guthrie in i don't know oh i don't know i don't know what to do kieran agar marcus haber laurie dalla valera who do we go with okay no that'll no, fuck it. Oh, we'll do it. He's unhappy. He's up for sale. He's up for loan. I know, but I want to try and win him round because I am a, a firm member of Team Haber. He is lazy. He is Dimitar Berbatov, lazy times a thousand. But you give him service, he'll score goals. He proved that last night. As soon as Ryan Lowe came on, bang. Here's Josh Lundstrom, by the way, who I am convinced. I'm sure in my brain he is the brother of the guy we've got. Josh Lundstrom. I am sure to God that they are related, as in brothers. I could swear they are, but it doesn't say so on the game, so maybe I am wrong. I can't be asked to look on anything. So, we'll get you to do the old team talks, Mr. Baker, and we'll get cracking on this match straight away. Uh, the boring, pointless start out highlight. So, yeah, basically, as we come forward, is my. Oh, I can see. Oh, my God, Marcus Barnes. How the fuck did you miss that? I'm sorry. I've just redlined that terribly. I apologise. You. Oh, how the fucking hell did you miss that? Oh, and that's gone straight to Slokers. We started well, though. Could these chances come back to haunt us? Probably. Um, yeah, so I did. Uh, many of you who. Uh, spotted it would have seen that I did a little a little uh, trailer for a crew series that I was going to do and I actually recorded the first episode uh, didn't get around to putting it up just yet because I was considering maybe not going ahead with that series at the moment and uh, so, oh god that was a terrible ball from Davis oh you fucking now that is crew that is crew to a T that is crews defending to an absolute T I see that week in week out year after year give the ball away don't recover quick enough. Don't cover the man that's coming into the area. Just let the ball come across and let whoever's coming in just slot it into the back of the net. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy for the opposition. O'Dowd's crossing and a roof, who's a very good player. He is a very good player, I'll give him that. Uh, slots it home. Woeful from us at the back yet again, as in the life that is real. But, um, yeah, so I didn't know whether I was going to carry on with that series. It was just like a little tester to see what reaction it got, and it was all right. But then when this job offer came up, I was like, oh, oh fucking hell, I wanted to do something with Lincoln. I wanted to win the league with them, um, especially after moving clubs so quickly uh, in the opening, you know, first season. And in second season, we're in like a, is it a fourth? Yes, yeah, I fucking hell, it's our fourth job. We went in an Eaton Griffin, Antwich, Lincoln, now crew. But, the, that tends to happen on these saves in the early throws it tends to be teams because i do so well so quickly because I, i'm you know i'm relatively decent at what i do on the game i i get you know grabbed up pretty quick and i think the fact that i was a crew fan i swear to god in the ai of the of the game it was like he will come to us on the cheap because he supports us i swear to god that was part of their decision so uh, we came in we brought our director of football with us by the way for those who are interested and i just i couldn't not do it i just couldn't not do it i couldn't say no i've oh, by the way i've, I've just carrying on it i brought haber off because he said he looked uninterested and i don't need that shit in my team um i probably will if he doesn't pick up i will let him go in the uh, transfer window oh it's clear to oh my god they're on the break now they're coming in, it swung out wide. Robert sends it across to Adowda. It's saved. Oh, it's gone out for a corner. Marcus Barnes puts it out for a corner. He's come in. Barnes clears again. It's come back across. He's Gale. Adowda. Oh, it's 2 0. The same two again. Adowda to Roof. And it is 2 0 to Oxford. Moves them up into fifth as things stand. Drops us down to 14th. 
woeful defending straight from the kickoff, straight from a corner, bang, in you go. Poor from crew, but to be expected. Oh shit, I'm sorry if you just had mobile phone interference. Why has my wife sent me about 500 fucking emails? Oh, dearie me, woman. And we've, uh, oh, it's just, she, she sends me the most boring emails in the fucking world. And it's like, I had, I, I saw, I saw a bird take a poo uh -huh, and it hit a car window. You know, that sort of stuff. She doesn't talk like that, really. But that's the sort of pointless stuff that she would send. Not that exactly, but that's a long... It's just an example, right? Leave me alone, it's an example. <laughs> so I apologise if you had the interference from that. So Such a noobish error to make. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, so we've killed two birds with one stone while we fuck this game up rolling and lose. Uh, we'll go show some passion, you spineless swines. Oh, Dalavala! Get in! Larry Dallavella. Old Deli Belly gets in there. Fantastic. Fantastic effort. Good ball in from uh, Bailey and Dallavella. Fantastic header. Beats the keeper brilliantly. 2 1. 2 1. Back in with a shout now. Back in with a shout. But will we be able to stick it out? In goes the corner. It's got. Oh! Slow to react there. Slow to react. Possibly have got something from that if they'd have reacted quicker. But Turton's got the ball back forward. It's Colclough to Atkinson. It's Dallavala. James! Oh! oh! Oh, Jones had a chance there to put us back in it at 2-2. But he missed. Well, he didn't miss. It was saved or blocked or whatever it was. But here's O'Dowder. Here's Lundstrom. That guy. That guy again. Here's Wyatt. Up against Wyatt. He's come in the area. It's been... Oh, Dowd has scored. Wow. This shows the work we've got cut out for us here, doesn't it? Absolutely piss poor. Good save and, like, clearance, but nobody... Absolutely no. Bailey pulled right out of position there. No doubt is at the far post. All on his own. Time to have a sip of tea and do some knitting before the ball comes to him for slot it in the back of the net. Absolutely piss poor defending. But at least we know now exactly what we've got to work with. And it ain't good. New goalkeeper is going to be my first thing because the lad on loan from Wigan, I don't like look. Oh, Jones. That would have been a fantastic goal. And that's it. 3-1. Thank you very fucking much. <laughs> but um it's only the second game in charge. I'm not I'm not too worried just yet. We've got the transfer window coming up tomorrow. So um new goalkeeper is gonna be first on the list and um probably midfielder for definite. Maybe one or two midfielders for definite, just to sort of give us those option in numbers at the centre, at the core of the team. And possibly, depending on if Marcus Haber moves on, we will bring in a striker, maybe two, maybe a couple of young lads to uh, go to the future. I like the look of the lads from Nantwich. The two boys from Nantwich, I like the look of... Um, the two lads that I took to Nantwich. Samson uh, Emmanuel... I really like the look of him. And uh, let's... Morecambe. Oh, yeah, Morecambe, by the way, who I said were dead and buried. I'm making a bit of a fight back under the stewardship of Harry Kuehl, who's just taken over. So he's the new man in town down at Morecambe, and he's lifted them off the bottom of the table with some good results. Um, picking up some wins. Beating Accrington as well there, which is a decent result for him. Uh, beating teams in and around you always helps, always helps. Lincoln, for those of you wondering, still top of the league, uh, still going strong. At the moment, as things stand, Grant Brown, the assistant manager, is in charge there, so he's in caretakership of that. But I do believe, um, I mean, look at that. Since we have left, they've not messed around. They've won every game again, so they're back on track with that. Uh, but I do believe they've made an approach to Rufus Brevett to take over as manager, interestingly enough. So um, 
if I remember in the next episode, we'll, we'll have a little look and see if he's gone there. Um, but going forwards, guys, I don't know when the next episode is going to be. It's probably going to be in and around uh, Wimbledon, maybe Tranmere. It's going to be one of those two because that's around Youth Intake Day. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please hit a like button if you've enjoyed. It's been a pleasure being in your face.